Hey yo, it's just a game lover back again with another video. I've been wanting to play Borderlands, and I've also been moved for D&D, &D, and it's Halloween. Well, the month of Halloween. So I decided to dress up Krieg, and I was going to play Tiny Tina's um, Assault on Dragon Keep. It's Halloween-y enough, so I think it'll work. So here we go. Hope you enjoy, and stick around till the end. Once upon a time, the Vault Hunters played a game. The world is on the brink of going boom boom. This is our most desperate hour. Unless we make a stand here and now, we gonna die. Now. Roll for initiative! What's initiative? It says which order we attack in. I punched the initiative. What's going on? I wasn't paying attention. <sighs> Tina, why don't you start over? Ahem. <clears throat> Welcome, fine ladies, to your first session of the most coolest game in the world, Bunkers and Badasses! As your Bunker Master, I will be spinning today's tale of fantasy and- Wait, why the hell are we playing this kid's game? Oh, you know, maybe because- Shut the hell up, Morty! Tina? She's right, though. Shut up. While well, our vault hunting buddies beat the slam jam out of that Hyperion informant downstairs, I thought we could play a game. Now, pick your characters. You got the Mechromancer, the Commando, the Siren- Siren. Dibs. My siren's name is Brick, and she is the prettiest. Tina, why don't we just start now and figure that out later? Come on, girl, you know we gotta wait for Roland before we start. Tina, Roland's... You know Roland's not coming, right? He's not here anymore. Yeah, he's probably running late or something. We'll just start now. So, like I said... Roll for initiative, suckers! Oh, I'm so happy to be back in this. You this is probably my all-time favorite Borderlands DLC of all time. This my second favorite is Ned Zombie it's Island, but I'm not sure really what falls after that, but I this one. We head toward the town I've replayed to this one probably more than any of them. It's just so much fun, there's so much to it. It's D&D &D with Borderlands. It's a lovely day in Flame Rock like, and also, Applaud, when you talk to certain wait, people, sometimes it does voice lines in like your D&D character's lovely. voice, and it's that amazing. Helps. Uh, what I meant to say is, Whenever I get the chance to buy the uh, new Tiny, music, Tiny Tina game, I really want to play that. Like it's full on D&D oh, and everything, it's amazing. And now it's time for an unbeatable boss, because Tiny Tina beach. thought that was Suddenly, such a good idea. Fortunately, I've never actually been in a D&D session where this has happened. Sometimes the boss was supposed to be unbeatable, but we still were able to do enough damage to kind of go against what the DM wanted. And how about the dragon? You and me, right now. And dead. Oh, listen to them talk about their roles and how Tina just said critical hit and everything. How Mordecai and all of them were kind of fed up with the game. Oh, Brick was really into it. Mordecai, not so much. Oh, I just like hearing that. It's just probably half the reason I enjoyed this DLC so much. DLC, bleh. Because it's like you're the character in the session listening to the people playing it. Yeah, oh. And Mr. Bony Pants guy. I wonder why they decided to name it Mr. Bony Pants Guy. Oh. Oh, Borderlands, like I said, is one of my favorite games. I remember when I first got the Borderlands 1. It was middle of the night, I got money for my birthday or something. And I bought it, I was like, oh, it looks interesting. And after playing it for a little bit, I decided to act like I was sick the next morning. Stayed home from school. And then played that all day. Borderlands has been one of, like has been a game series I've played every single game of, except for the new Telltale's Borderlands, the one that's coming out, or it's out, I'm not quite sure yet. I actually haven't really looked too much into it. But I've beat all the Borderlands, the Telltale, everything. Not fast enough. And I'm kind of underleveled for this fight. I think after I'm done with this video, I'm probably going to go I'm grind done. and get to a higher level. The only reason I'm doing it right now is because Krieg is so good. Even though... <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> oh, something stuck in my throat. But uh, with Krieg's uh, uh, second chance ability and his melee, even though there's a higher level than me, I could still take him on pretty easily. And with the grenades I got from uh, the edition of Borderlands I got. I think it's the handsome edition. But with those I get like the party grenades that do like the fireworks. And the damage scales with your level, so it's always usually pretty good. I just need to get my meter filled up so I can attack this man. Mr. Bony Pants guy, you will not murder me. 
I am too much for you. What's y'all's favorite Borderlands? Which one of the... There's... Four? Without the Telltale one? Which are like the four? Borderlands 1, 2, 3, and 3 sequels. And also, which DLC is your favorite? Because Borderlands 2 is my favorite of all of them. DLCs are usually... are. Bleh, I don't know why I said usually. The DLCs are pretty good. I remember getting the gaming Guinness Book of World Records. And this game for several years, I think even now, still has like the most guns in one game. It was like a couple billion different types of guns. or Well, most of them are different combinations of the same gun. Let's talk to some town folk. You know, I just decided to run through everyone back there, so I probably cut it till now. But we've made it to Flame Rock Refuge. This place is so cool. It's like your hub area. It's amazing. I love how they talk like this. You like put on a voice. And, I don't know. I'm a big D and D guy, so I love anything like this. This is amazing. Sounds like we should go find this Eleanor. Ooh, then Ellie over here. Uh, the bodyguard isn't here. Or Eleanor. I think that's what she's called in this DLC. On the way Krieg talks in this, I just really love like the way he's about to talk to her. Be quiet so you could hear it. I talked to her in character, of course. <clears throat> I'll crack your mind and beat your problems to death. That is just one of the many reasons of Creek, because the way he talks is just amazing. He's a psycho, but he also, well, there's the good side of him, and the psycho came out. In Borderlands 3, they have a DLC that explains a lot more about Creek. But, I don't know, Creek is just my favorite character of any of them. Oh, if you want to see me play like a full playthrough of this, which I might have already said this, but if you do, just leave in the comments. I'll do a full playthrough of this. this is one of my favorite games. Ooh, skeletons. Let me go deal with them real quick. What? Skeletons have been dealt with. Ah, oh, Mr. Korg. Korg Flex. One of my favorite characters in Borderlands 2. Oh, his voice reminds me of like Hercule from Dragon Ball and, well, Dragon Ball Z and everything. And here on this, an easy way to do this, if you have a sniper, long range weapon, just get, well, let me get this stuff right here. You just pop the barrel right there. That's that one done. And then if you want to get the other one, if you don't want to run all the way to both of them. And, yeah, let's see. Get up on this box. And then, well, let me get my aimed. You jump just right, you should be able to get, yep, there we go. Yeah, it just makes it a little bit easier so you don't have to run back and forth. You can just do it right there. Now what, Mr. Tog? Let's do this. Way to see approaching threats. We had no reason to do that. Oh, I'll just listen to him talk. I know I've said that already, but... The voice lines, ever the, everything in this game are amazing. Wait, this town doesn't have a tavern. Now to the tavern. Hello, Moxie. You have a fine place. Talk to her. Um, I go hit the slots. Yep. Now I'm pretty so much broke. And I got nothing for it. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, this right here, uh, when you gotta get these guys out after you hit them both, one runs. If you, I'll show you here in a sec after it gets to it. Uh, get out, smack, get out, smack. Thanks. Right, if you come over here to the door and stand in the doorway, that guy can't get out when he goes to run, like right here. So you can just hold him in the doorway and get him real quick. Makes it a lot easier, a lot faster. Come on, say what you need to say for me to get this dude. And that's him. That's out of the way. God, Tina, this makes no sense. Torg is ruining your game. I'm having fun. I have something stuck in my throat. But let's see. All right, man, man, Torg. What's next? Alright, you want to blow ocean. up the ocean? Let's do this. Take this ocean. I'll do it, Mr. Torg, way. with all my might. All right, fair enough. Okay, you Mr. know, Torg, this isn't really working. Sorry, Mr. Torg, I just couldn't do it. The ocean's too strong and too big. My bombs weren't powerful enough. And now he's at the docks or whatever they just called it. All right, before I go in the forest for this episode, I'm gonna get some of the stuff done in town. And then next episode, we'll start in the forest. Or I'll probably start like right around here and then head in the forest. Uh, you've seen better days, Mr. Torg. Right, I'm gonna get some of the missions collected and then start doing them. Moxie. 
What do you need? Oh yeah, it's the crumpets, and then she has a gun in the forest that you'll see in the next video. This right here is one of my favorite quests. It's short, simple, and it's just funny. What is that green stuff? Ooh, a chest. Let me get ammo and stuff, hopefully. Some grenades or something. Yep, got a grenade. I could probably look up the answer to this riddle. Everybody roll your insight stat to see if you can solve that Let's riddle. see. I shall repeat the riddle. Sorry, man. Everyone Life's harsh. No one. Sometimes you get hit with a d20. And he's dead. Rick, don't it's like a decahedron, or whatever Protina's it's called. Figurine. I think that's the name of it. Uh, decahedron. Decahedron. And, and let me turn it in, get that, and then I'll be on to the crumpets. The I don't know. Years, have you? I do not understand the question. Okay, so there's nothing there. Let's see. I could do this. Just jump. One more jump. Oh god. What? Oh, oh no. Now I'm stuck. Well, that's just great. And there's no way out of here. You know, I didn't know this was a possibility. I didn't know you get stuck here. So I guess my only option is just jumping off. Ah! Alright, take two. And this time I'm not going to jump it like I was. I think just walking across it's good enough. Jumping's what got me knocked off. And one, a two, a three. Got all the crumpets. You see. Uh, now, oh yeah, fake nerd. Torg, why are you even playing? Mr. Torg just wants to be part of the group, look. Why are you gonna be such a jerk? I don't know why, I, like, I really enjoy this quest, the back and forth. It's like, Torg just wants to be a part of it. And Lily's like, nah, just because you're a muscle head, you can't be a part of this. You can't be a nerd. Which is, I don't know, it's weird. It's like stereotyping each other. Torg, if you can answer uh, my nerdy questions three, then a part show of the nerdy questions. I have died so many times trying to get this. It sucks. I forgot that. Uh, you know, I need to level up. After this video, I'm gonna grind before I get back into this. So next week, I should be high enough level to really deal with these guys. Creep makes it like I can deal with it, but damn. Uh, let's see. On to the next one after she's done reading. Mr. Tor got pretty lucky with guessing there. On to the next question, adventurers. Come on, can I, I can't even kill him. It's a, just wasting time till they get done talking. Explosions of life! And I'm out. And question number two, and it's another running man. Why do they always have people that you have to chase down? Wait, do I have to hit him or do I just wait for him to stop? It's been a while since I played this one, now let's see. Give me that paper. I have the produce meat bicycle. It's one of my favorite Krieg lines. And that's out of ammo. Come on, man. Just stop running. Let me have it. This be over with soon. Stop. Oh, he stopped. Noise. Now give it to me. There we go. Now I got number two. Serious king of jewelry. The rightful king needed to reforge his broken blank. Sword. I feel like that was also an easy one to get, sword. Torg's two for two. Let's see if you get number three. Now, on to number three. I think it's just right over here in the cage. Tattoos and bunkers and badasses. I suffered for my geekiness. You don't get to Oh yeah, I started uploading Overwatch. It's probably gonna be just like Overwatch highlights. And I have uh, Overwatch shorts. It's gonna be highlights and shorts mainly, unless you just wanna... Y'all want me to play full-on matches, or y'all want me to see me play full-on matches? Because I have a Junkrat highlight. I didn't think Junkrat was going to be that good until I started playing as him, and I got play of the game like five or six times with just him. He's a really good character. I enjoy him. And Mr. Torg is not a nerd. Sad. But he wants to be. He wants to try it out. Which he already is. He already in this game, in the session. The DM put him in. So, let's see how a Torg is a doing. I just love running through this game. The like cartoon kind of style. I, I don't know what to call it cartoon, but the style this late world has is just amazing. I love the art style of it. Oh, poor Mr. Torg. 
Let's see, turn that in. And I think that will be about it for this one. So if you enjoyed, come back next week. There'll be a part two. I'll have Elden Ring, Hitman, Overwatch, maybe some Sims or something else. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys some other time. Bye-bye.